In this screencast, I'm going to show you AppLocker policies. AppLocker policies can be used in Windows 7, Enterprise, and Ultimate Edition. I launch Solitaire. This is the application that I'm going to lock away. Here, I'm using the Local Group Policy Editor. You can, of course, apply AppLocker policies at the domain, site, and organizational unit level. AppLocker policies are located under Windows Settings, Security Settings, Application Control Policies. You can configure AppLocker policies to be enforced or not enforced, and when you, you can choose between auditing and enforcing. Auditing when you're testing out your system, enforcing when you're happy with it. You can also block DLLs. So you can block DLLs through AppLocker, executables, installers, or scripts. The more you block, the bigger an impact it has on system performance. Here I'm going to create the default rules. The default rules allow everything that's in the Windows directory and the program files directory to execute. Once I've got my default rules, I can start to block particular things. A deny rule always overrides an allow rule. So in this case, I want to block Solitaire. And even though Solitaire is actually in one of those in the program files directory and would normally be allowed to execute under default rules, a deny rule for Solitaire actually blocks this because deny overrides allow. In this case, I'm saying block Solitaire and block all future versions of Solitaire. I create the rule and you can see the deny rule there. Now, AppLocker policies rely on the application identity service being activated. This service is set to manual rather than automatic. Again, it's a good idea to have this set to manual rather than automatic until you're happy with the policies. That way you don't set up overly restrictive policies that block you and you can't do anything about it. Next, I update group policy. And once group policy is updated, that AppLocker policy is enforced. So if I try and launch Solitaire, as I do here, I get a nice notice saying this program is blocked. Thank you very much for listening.